January 31st, 2018 will be a night of compounded lunar activity with the influence of the blue moon, blood moon, and super moon all coming together. Eclipses are about opening new doors and closing old ones. It's a marker for the ending of one chapter and the beginning of another. A cleansing ritual. If you want to start fresh and wipe the slate clean from all your stressful thoughts and feelings, you need a sage smudge stick, a white candle, and a bowl of salt water. Create an altar and leave all your ingredients in the center. Light the sage smudge stick and allow the smoke to fill every corner of your home. Using a fan to move the smoke into hard to reach places if you must. When you are finished, open at least one window in each room and imagine that as the smoke leaves your home, so does all the stress, worry, and anxiety your space has been harboring. Return to your altar and light the white candle as the flame takes hold on the wick, visualize a white light glowing around your toes. Then slowly moving through your legs, through your torso, over your heart, your neck, until the light is surrounding you completely. Let your heart be filled with the newness, a fresh start, cleansing. Dip your fingers into the bowl of salt water and say, With this eclipse, I am made new again. I am untarnished, whole, and true. There is nothing weighing me down. I am free to fly and break through. To complete the ritual, allow the candle to burn all the way down. A blessing ritual. If you want to infuse your life with more luck, or if you have a project or goal in mind that could use a little extra blessing, or if you want to bless someone else, you need one white candle, cinnamon, sage, or orange essential oil, a photo of whoever is being blessed, and one pen. Anoint your wrists and heart with the essential oil. Take your pen and write the name of whoever is being blessed on the candle. It can be one person or multiple people. Now light the candle. As the flame takes hold, pick up the photo. And as you hold them, imagine whoever you are blessing moving upwards into the night sky. Maybe they're sitting on the moon, looking down at the world. Or maybe the moon is making them float amongst the stars. This is your daydream. And allow the image to alter and change. Just make sure to envision the stars, planets, and moon infusing you or your loved one with magic and luck. Allow the feeling to comfort you. When you're ready, say, I am made of stardust and magic. This fact will always be a relief. The luck the moon brings me is strengthening beyond belief. End the ritual by allowing the candle to burn all the way down. Leave the photos in a safe place you can return to every day and remember this ritual. A banishing ritual. If there has been a negative force in your life draining all your energy, if there is someone you wish will leave you alone, is there something you wish you could move on from? A banishing ritual is the message you want to send to the super blue blood moon. You need a black candle, a basil and scent stick or cone, paper and pen. Light the incense and the black candle. 
Take the pen and paper and write down, in whatever way you see fit, what exactly it is that you wish to banish. It can be as long as a whole page, or just one word. You could also draw an image that represents it. Now imagine your life without it. Truly take the time to envision how much better your life is now that whatever you're banishing is no longer a part of it. You are free and they are part of the past. Now say, the past will remain the past and the future is just beginning. The shackles that were binding me are broken. Now I am set free. To complete the ritual, allow the incense and candle to burn all the way down. Thank you for watching my video and let me know if you did any of these rituals. Please let me know how they went in the comments and please like and subscribe and have a wonderful evening. Blessed be.